So something interesting happened this morning. We were driving to Miracle Farms and right before we got there, either during the night or maybe early this morning, somebody had hit a deer and then they harvested the deer, which is totally fine. I mean, there's no reason to waste any good meat, but they left a few of the remains on the side of the road. And this isn't ideal for wildlife, especially for the scavengers, because they need to come down and land on the road to get this food. And in turn, they might actually become roadkill themselves. And it's the same reason why, you know, sometimes you're driving and you're eating an apple and you'll throw out the apple core on the side of the road. You're like, it's compostable, it's fine. But that could attract rodents to the road. And after a while, predators might actually realize that, oh, there's a lot of rodents hanging out on the side of the road. So they'll visit the road frequently looking for rodents and then that could lead to them becoming roadkill. So there's a whole cycle and the road is not necessarily a safe place for animals. So we collected the remains and just threw them into the field to get rid of them. And within half an hour, there was crows, ravens, turkey vultures, all soaring up above. And it was so fun to watch. And then the light bulb went off in my head and I was like, why am I not in my blind trying to photograph or film any of this so that's where we are right now and the goal for today is just to watch the rest of this deer and hope that something shows up on it although i guess if you're watching it something happened because i've tried editing videos before where nothing has happened and i fall asleep so i can only imagine it would be boring for you guys so if you're watching this you're not wasting your time i guess something's going to happen and uh I'll show you my setup right now actually. That, this would be a good time since I'm talking now and making noise. I might as well show you what's happening out there. All right, so I'll show you my setup now and I really wasn't expecting to make this video. So all I have is my regular blind with me. But since the deer is on the ground, I wanna get smack dab eye level with the birds. So I'm actually on the ground and you might be thinking, you know, this doesn't look like a big hide and it's only about three or four feet across and I'm a little bit over six feet. So if you're wondering how I do it, this is okay. On the ground, I have the A7R4 with the 200 to 600 and the lens coat rain sleeve. I just want to make it a little bit more camouflage. So if I have to move the lens around, it's not this big white lens flashing and potentially scaring the birds. So I have that uh, water coffee, the essentials. And right here, I just zip down a little hole to look through. Again, it's not ideal, but this is also not a ground blind. And if you look out the window right over here, there's these large bales of hay in the field. And I think my blind looks pretty close to that which is a positive hopefully the birds think it's similar enough and that it fits in that they won't be off put by landing here and I don't think you can see it but I'll zoom in hopefully you can see it right yeah right there uh, that's where I have the deer remains so it's not ideal but for an impromptu setup I'm pretty happy with it and now there's nothing left to do besides stop talking and see what shows up stay tuned There's a turkey vulture flying really low and I think he's gonna land. So I think I got a bit ahead of myself. The vulture circled a few times around where the deer is and then it just took off the other way. So now I'm kind of in my head a bit. I'm wondering, am I too close? Is he not sure about the blind? Uh, is the deer not in a good spot for him to land? So I'm kind of mulling this over in my head. I'll be honest, I've never done raptors this way. I've usually just always been out in the field. I've never done raptors in a blind, so I'm not sure what their comfort levels are. So yeah, now I'm just kind of thinking what I should do. I don't think I should move, to be honest. I think it's better if I just stay put, but I'll, uh, I'll think about it for a bit. Wind's picking up now. I'll think about it for a bit and I'll uh, let you guys know what I do. All right, I was sitting around waiting and then I just heard poop really strong wing beats and I look out and a turkey vulture is right over the food like maybe four or five feet off the ground and then he just swooped off to the side and he landed on a post so I'll show you right now so now 
now he's sitting up there and I'm waiting for him to come down to the deer and hopefully I'll be able to get a few shots. The clouds are coming in now a bit too so it's kind of nice um, in maybe like three hours or so it's gonna be sunset so that's what I'm kind of aiming for that nice golden light but with these clouds coming in for now it's actually providing pretty good light. just flew away not too long ago I'm just re-watching the footage now and to have one that close they're just such cool birds I love their heads and uh, I'm really happy I really hope he comes back because that would be an amazing second experience but that was pretty neat and I really didn't think he would show up today to be honest I thought for sure crow or raven would come but I didn't think the turkey vulture would come so I'm already happy with what I got, but hopefully I'll stay out a few hours longer until sunset and uh, we'll see what we can get. Stay tuned. Thank you. 